Bob is a grumpy bugger who works at a car yard. He is so old and cranky, people can barely understand what he is mumbling on about. Why on earth would they make him the customer service manager? The funny thing is, when I called him with a few special mumbles of my own, I actually did feel as if I had just been serviced. Uh, Mr. Um, yes, I've been giving you as a contact because I uh, recently bought a Nissan. I'm not very happy with it because it's gone. Really? It was bought with a warranty. Yeah. Okay, and I find myself not far down the road. Yeah, 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 right. See you later. What do you mean, see you later? I want to deal with my warranty. Yeah, well, that's good. If you start to speak properly, then I'll deal with the other one to make it up. I am speaking properly. I can't. I can't. Okay. Well, why are you talking to me like this? Because I cannot understand what you're saying. Well, I'm just trying to tell you that I purchased a car from you. You told me that three times. Okay, and when I'm driving it now along the highway, within 10, 15 kilometers, it just starts to... We are just talking about my car. I know you're just talking about your car. And the warranty and... I don't know about the warranty. You keep saying about the warranty. But then when you come to tell me what's wrong with the car, you cannot understand what I'm trying to tell you and you don't understand what I'm telling you. What? You what do you... heard what I said. I'm hearing what you're saying, but I'm just telling you the problem with my car and you're abusing me and... Uh, yes, and then it goes... What, you, what is that noise? That's what you're saying. Oh, is this what you call customer service? Yeah. That's what it is, yes. So you're telling me, right, that after that my I've got a 5,000 oh, really? kilometer warranty, right? This is how you're going to treat me. Correct. Unless you speak to me properly, I will not help you. I've told you, when I'm driving along after a while, the cabin starts to feel like it's smoking, okay? Now it's smoking, is it? That's what I've been saying to you all along. No, you didn't. You said it's been... <laughs> what sort of brand of smokes do you smoke? I don't smoke. Well, how come the car smoking? I, that's why I'm ringing to talk to you, Mr. Genius. Well, I want to find out when you bought the car, how many kilometers it's done, and if it's still under warranty. But why can't I tell you that sort of invitation? No, no, no. Huh? Tell me that. Because I don't know what you said. When you, when you, when you know, you know. That's what you said. You're playing cuckoo, sir. I, you are a cuckoo, not me. I just no, said to you, okay. Okay, I'm going now. I give you the information now over the phone so that we can move forward on this warranty. Yeah, right, right. What's the registration number of it? P R. P R. Yeah. Right, okay. P R. You can. Well, did you get it? Why are you speaking to me like this? Because that's what you said to me. I said it was P-R-D. That guy never comes. Four, that's all I said. What's your phone number? Nine, five, three. Nine, five, three. Six, right, double eight. Double eight. Thank you very much for ringing. It's nice talking to you. Oh, right. you away from Never enough. Oh, oh, come on. Did you hear at the start of the podcast? Hey, don't speak to a customer like that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you call him back? Yeah. Hello? Oh, Mr. B***. This is the elephant scrubber, I guess. Why do you say that? Oh, you sound like you should be scrubbing elephants. Who's that laughing in the background? Who's your hyena friend, huh? There'd be another elephant scrubber on site. So are you going to fix my car? Oh. Because the way you're carrying on, I'm not going to help you. Carrying on, all I've done is give you my name, my phone number, my yeah. registration. That doesn't even all work up. Uh, is that some oh kind of attempt God. to speak my language? Well, that's when you started off. That's how you said it. I did not. There must be something wrong with your phone. Wait, 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 wait. Did you understand? Wait, 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 wait. Tell me, are you the customer service officer for warranties at your car yard? That's right. Do you find that most customers are particularly pleased with the service that they receive? They're that pleasing when after I've finished with the customer service with them, they always bring me in a slab of VB stubbies. Right. Do you refer to perhaps people from Asia as Ching Chongers? No. Do you refer to people from Germany as dumb crowds? No. So why do you call me an elephant scrubber? Well, that's what you people do, scrub elephants. Do you not find this offensive in any way at all? And then you mock my language and talk crazy stuff okay. at me. Yeah, yeah, bully, bully, bully. So will you be fixing my car? Yeah, I'll fix, fix it. You come and see me and I'll fix it. Not a problem. I won't be bringing okay. a slab for you. That'll be right. Oh, right, because what? Yeah, you, you've overextended. You come and see me and bring a slab of beer and I'll fix it. Hey, bully, 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 bully. You've extended your service so magnificently. Yes, and so did you, but thank you very much for it. Bully, bully, bully. I can only look forward to the wonderful success that you will enjoy over the coming months. Goodbye. 
I, uh... Oh. <laughs> yeah. he, is man. Man. he is a bit mad, obviously close to retirement. Well, <laughs> so I rang one of the cowboys. I, said, you know, uh, I think he, uh, he might be working, might be a training course or something. But uh, most of all, we better let him know that it's actually a joke. Yeah, hmm. he has Hello, Bob speaking. Did you check him out to see who he was? Yeah. All he kept saying was a little bit. Hello, is that you, Mr. Bobby? Bobby, this is a gotcha call on uh, Fox FM. Did you think you gave a wonderful lesson in customer service there? It's Matt Tilly here from Fox FM. Oh, yeah, by the way, that's like crazy. And it won't move. Yeah, we're putting in sound effects and stuff. And I think it did. Now, let's just make sure. Wait, no, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Cream. Gonna be saved. Just to make sure. Here's now. That's all we have time for, folks. In the game of game show. Well, first, let's see what this was. Well, the contestant is all the way up there without um, falling off or making the vehicle explode. Sounds easy, right? Well, you might be wondering why it's got that cover on there. That's because it's damaged. And then you're going to have to turn um, left. Um, and then you go straight if you turn left. And you might get sideways a little. Bit kick this way and oh no Cameron Don't go You floating up space You floating up space So I'm gonna have to do the show from here. And yeah. Well, see you. Oh. 
Now, how do we turn this thing off? Oh, there it is.